Uh, the next thing we're going to do uses, ta-da, the fruit basket stamp set. This is another super cute stamp set. This is not a celebration choice, but you can buy this with some other products and receive a celebration item. It does come in a bundle if you wish with these super cute little punches that will punch out those shapes. Okay, let me get, oh, here's some more tape. I don't know how much tape I think I need at one time, but I think I have plenty now. Okay, so I did want to show you guys some things that I have done that I have with these. So here's one, a little uh, treat pouch that I made. Um, it's a sour cream container, but you can reuse it because it snaps closed at the top. It's not glued, and this uses those little adorable pineapples. Here's a card I got in a swap that uses the pears. Super cute. And this is a reject of a card that I was doing for this Facebook Live, but this piece that I did was too big, so I turned it into this instead. So this is a reject turned into a card that's really not ugly. I don't think. Maybe you guys think it's ugly. I thought it was cute. So anyways, that's a reject. That's not a reject. Okay, so we are going to use the Fruit Basket Stamp Set and the, oh, I can't remember what this paper's called, uh, Tutti Fruity Designer Series paper, maybe? So we have a ton of fun fruity patterns in this with, you know, other patterns on the back sides. And I've used a lot of this, so I don't have a whole lot of this stuff left, but it's super cute. Okay, so we're using some Tutti Fruity Designer Series paper. Okay, so here is our papers for this project. And here are the two that I talked about from the Tutti Fruity package. They're both Designer Series papers. And I did go ahead and do my little scotch tape trick and um, get those together, okay? So those, that's gonna layer onto this Knight of Navy piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that right now. I can tell that my snail is getting towards the end because it's not making that noise that it makes when you're rolling it out. Okay, so now we are going to layer this onto this piece of Knight of Navy. Got some glue on my finger that I can't get off. Okay. Whoops. So there's that. And then I wanted to use, look at this ribbon. Isn't this adorable? This is our gingham navy ribbon. We also have it in um, Smoky Slate. And so I'm going to do my ribbon on this piece here at the bottom. And we're going to wrap it around to the back, do the scotch tape trick that I always do. And I'm going to try to see where those pages, papers come together, and I'm going to try to get it in between that uh, the center block of color here, the white. Which, does white really a color, or is it a non-color? I don't know. Okay, so we'll wrap that around. All right, so we have that done. And our card base is going to be crumb cake, so we're going to end up putting this onto a crumb cake card base, so yay for that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a super cute basket. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some masking with the basket. Okay, so we are going to stamp a little basket on this little die cut. Now, this is a square that I got from our um, stitched shapes framelits. And sometimes with these stitched shapes, you'll get these little fuzzy edges. And so I just use a sanding block. And I've been told that you can get these like from your nail lady if you guys get nails done. <laughs> Obviously, I don't. But if you do, I believe that nail ladies either used to use those or still use them or something. Okay, so one of the pieces in this set is this little basket handle. Now here's a trick for you guys with photopolymer stamps. A lot of times, you know, they're obviously very pliable and wiggly and you can get them. So I mean, if I went and stuck this on here like this, you can see how odd that is and how that's not gonna be the right shape for the handle. But sometimes you just can't get it on there right. So what I do is I place it on my silicone mat. I peel it off my plastic piece in the set, put it on my silicone mat, and I let it sit there for a little bit so it can regain its proper shape. Then I just come down with my clear block and pick it up. And I've noticed this is really helpful like for photopolymer stamps that you're using with die cuts, that if you get this on here kind of wonky and then you take it over to your big shot and you try to die cut it out, it's not gonna line up nice. So just remember this trick for uh, your photopolymer stamps. Just let it shape itself and then come down uh, with your block and pick it up. Okay, so we're gonna lightly ink this up. This is one of those stamps that you don't want a whole lot of ink on, so I'm just barely tapping on that. And I'm gonna stamp this basket handle up near the top of this little die cut here. 
press that down ever so slightly, and then we have our handle. Yay. Now we've also got this little basket. Oh, I just wiggled the camera, sorry. Yes, Teresa, you're welcome. Okay, so now we're gonna do the basket, and I'm just gonna kinda try to eyeball this and make sure that it's gonna line up with the edges of the handle. Pretty good, can't complain about that. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna put some strawberries in the basket. But obviously, if I start stamping strawberries around the basket, they're gonna be outside the basket. I don't want them outside the basket. I want the strawberries in the basket. So what I've done is I stamped the basket on a piece of just scrap copy paper, okay? And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay this mask over my basket and I'm gonna get out my two little stamps that make a strawberry. So we have the strawberry itself and then the little uh, topper to that. And then we do have an outline image if you do wanna do some outline strawberries. I'm not for this project. So I've got the strawberry and the topper. And so I'm gonna ink up my strawberry in real red. Make sure that my mask is covering my little basket. And then I'm just going to, eh, how about like right that, stamp my strawberry. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my top. And again, this is one of those stamps, these two-step stamps here where I do the dark color first. So I did the strawberry first. And then when I come down with my topper, I can see the dark red through my stamp and so then I can get that lined up pretty easily. All right, so now we're gonna come in and do another strawberry about right there. And you'll notice that I'm doing the strawberry and then the topper. And that's, I'm doing that on purpose rather than just stamping a bunch of strawberries and then trying to come in with the toppers because that's not the look that I'm going for. So now I'm okay to remove my mask because now these next couple strawberries, I actually want them to come out of the top of the basket, okay? So as long as I don't have my strawberry go outside the basket when I'm stamping it, it's gonna be good. And then we'll put the top on. Up on this one, like so. Okay, so now I do have a blank spot in the middle, which is probably okay, but we're gonna fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my basket again on a piece of white. Okay, so here's a basket. And then I'm gonna stamp a strawberry, oh, kind of in the middle of the basket. Stamp the top on the middle of this basket. So now I have one single strawberry in a basket. So I'm gonna bring in my little strawberry punch and I'm gonna go up here and the punch is a little smaller than the actual stamped image. So you don't have to be perfect when you place these things, they'll still work out pretty good. So now this is a strawberry with basket lines on it. So now I can just bring my little strawberry in here and I'm gonna glue that right there in the middle and you're not gonna have any idea that I've done that. It's just gonna look perfect because I couldn't get all the strawberries in place the way I wanted them without doing this. So, okay, so we're gonna add a tiny bit of glue to this little strawberry here. Oh, my glue must be clogged. Oh, Kathy, you're so nice, thank you. And you're welcome for the tip, Marty. Okay, so. Get that, and then since I'm using liquid glue, I have what I call wiggle room, so I have time to move this around a little bit to get it lined up. Oh, maybe I should get some reading glasses out from the dollar store, you know. Gotta get that moved up just a hair. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. Uh, let's see what else do I need to do. I need to stamp my little greeting. I had to pick up my paper off the floor. And I've got a little greeting here that comes in the stamp set that says, what does it say? It says, you are the sweetest. So we're going to stamp that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to stamp it on our little strip of paper here. And then we're going to flag the end and bring it in. Yep, that looks pretty good. All right, where are some scissors? Here we go. So again, I just come in the center of the end and then I just complete the snip from both sides in the corner. Okay. Oh, yay, Marty says she's learned four new tips so far. Well, that's awesome. Four is a lot in about, what have I been on here now? 45 minutes or so, so yay. Okay, get my ink pads put away because you know what I always say. I'll make a mess. 
move my stamp so I don't touch them. All right, so let's get this piece put on. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And there we go. Make sure it's centered. And maybe push it up just a hair. Okay. Press that into place. Very good. And then I did go ahead. So this was a, this is the second largest square from the Stitched Shapes Framelits. And then this is from the Layering Squares Framelits. This is a uh, scallop square, obviously. And this is what I call number seven. So when I'm looking at my scallop squares, I have them all laid out. Number one is the tiniest one, and I just go up from there. So this was number seven. All right, so we're just going to add some glue to this little guy. Put it on the scallop. And this scallop is just barely bigger than my stitched shape. So it's like the perfect size, I think. Okay, that's going to go there. That's going to go there. And then we are done with this card. Okay, and that, did I put glue on that? No, I don't want to put glue on that. I want dimensionals. Where's my dimensionals? Oh, here they are. Okay, and here's another kind of tip thing. If you guys are trying to cover it like a strip of ribbon or a knot of ribbon when you're putting your dimensionals on, make sure your dimensionals are away from the center because obviously I'm going to have my ribbon kind of in the middle, but I don't want to add extra bulk if I don't have to. So if I put my dimensionals on the edges, then um, it will, it'll just go over nicely over the ribbon without adding any um, more bulk. So if you actually put your dimensional on the ribbon, Sometimes it doesn't look very nice. It won't stay where you put it. The ribbon is floppy, blah, blah, blah. Just just do what I said and you'll be fine. <laughs> How was that? Okay, so again, bringing back the card was our, that was our, um, uh, the one we started with. Basically the same design. These pieces are a little bit wider, whereas this was like, oh, what are they? Maybe this was three and a half. This is like three and three quarters wide. It doesn't make any difference. It's the layout's the same. So you can see where we've done four now we have four cards basically using the exact same layout, but yet they're all totally different. They're all completely different. So we've got two designer series papers here, designer series paper and embossing, designer series paper and stamping. Just a lot of fun with one layout. So I thought that was kind of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel like I've been here for like five minutes, but I think it's almost been like 45, 50 minutes. So I'm done with all my demonstrations. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please make sure you share the video because I will pick a winner next week in Facebook Live to um, gift the cards to. And I do normally go live Wednesdays at noon Eastern. Today was a fluke because yesterday I could not get on. I tried and tried and tried two different times. I tried everything, restarting my phone, uninstalling Facebook, reinstalling Facebook, anything and everything I could think of. Could not get it to work. So I came on today, but normally I'm on Wednesdays at noon Eastern. So. Thank you guys for um, watching. Please, if you need to order any supplies, I would love your business at shoppingwithbarb.com. Use my monthly host code and I have free gifts for you. And happy stamping, everybody.